So now we're going to talk about rebasing. So we've got this new feature, D, which is in our commit D on our branch feature D. And we want to merge that into our main branch. The problem is we can't do a fast forward merge. Our main branch and our feature D branch have diverged. Main is not an ancestor of feature D. We have this commit C that appears in main, but does not appear in our feature D branch. So this blocks us from this fast forward merge. So this is where we're going to use a rebase. So we can go to our feature D branch and then we rebase the branch main onto it. And what that does in this world of blocks is it pops off anything on feature D that doesn't appear in main. So what Git's going to do is Git's going to look at the two branches and say, what is the most recent common ancestor between the two? And in our case, that's this B commit that appears on both. So then on our feature branch, it's going to pop off anything newer. In this case, it's our D commit gets popped off and sort of set aside for a moment. Then it's going to perform a fast forward merge and actually fast forward merge content from main into our feature D branch. Now, before we were merging from our feature branch into our main branch, in this case, it happens the other direction. And because we popped off anything that didn't appear in main, this can be a fast forward merge. So we're going to duplicate that C commit, and then we're going to fast forward that fast forward merge that over into our feature D branch. Now our main branch and our feature D branch both match, except we have the commit or sometimes multiple commits that we've popped off of feature D waiting to get reapplied. And then that's exactly what we do. It gets reapplied. Now something interesting happens here. When it gets reapplied, because we are now applying it to a different set of history, it's actually a different commit. So even if we have exactly the same changes that we're putting on there, right? We change the spelling of this word, or we change the name of this function, or, or we, we extra, uh, extracted something out into a function. Even if whatever we did, we do exactly the same thing. It still becomes a new commit. Because commits are based on not just the changes they make, but all of the history that goes with them. And here, the history of our commit D has changed. So you'll see that our commit D now, we're going to mark it with a little dash up at the side. Uh, sometimes people pronounce that as D prime, right? I'm going to call it D modified, right? So we've got this commit D modified, the modified version of that commit. And that's modified because it's got this different history below it now. Before it didn't have this commit C in its history, but now it does. So we're applying the same changes, but it's got this different history. And this is what this looks like when we do a rebase in terms of blocks.